Hey besties, welcome or welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host, Vivian Rose. So, in this week's episode, we're going to be talking about how to be that Alexa Demi alluring, mysterious type of girl and how to become her, how to really embody her personality and her vibe and her aesthetic because let's let's be real, we all love Alexa Demi, her style, her personality, her mysteriousness, we all are obsessed with it and I'm going to teach you exactly how to be like that today. But first, let's get into our opening segments of the podcast that we always do. First, we have our Monday Motivation, which this week is a little challenge for you because I have something that I really want you to do. I want you to get out a journal and write down a bucket list of everything you want to do this summer. And it's coming up really close to summer and we're on summer break and like... A month and I feel like it's so so fun to have like a list of things you want to do because then when summer comes around summer break you're not just sitting there like I have no idea what to do I'm gonna waste the whole summer no you don't want to be like that you know like you want to have a whole list of things to do so make sure you have a summer bucket list that is your Monday motivation our fashion icon of the week it will only be right for it I'm not gonna do Alexa Demi because we're gonna talk about her style in this episode but it will only be right if I did Miss Haley Bieber because she's on my vision board right now because I just love her whole aesthetic but Haley Bieber her vibe her aesthetic her lifestyle her beauty brand is literally goals She is such a whole aesthetic, you know? She's a whole lifestyle. When you buy a road lip tint or a peptide lip treatment, you're not just buying a lip product. You're buying a lifestyle. You're buying cute pictures. You're buying all these cute little things, you know? And I feel like with her style, it is just so cute. You know, it can be so classy. It can be so coquette. It could be so downtown girl sometimes. And it could just be anything. And I love that about her. Like, her style is always so her and I feel like that is something that is so hard to get these days because excuse me because a lot of people just copy the trends they copy what they see other people do but I love what I love about her is that she always dresses her way and if she does a trend she always takes Haley's spin on it she always puts her own take on it which I just love that about her her makeup her style her brand everything about it I'm just obsessed with it so that is my little take on Hailey Bieber today. Also, I have the Road Peptide Lip Treat. No, it's the Road Peptide Lip Tint. That's what it is. Lip Tint. I'm sorry. I love the lip tint. It is so good. I have it in the shade Espresso. It's like a dark um, brown color, just like the name suggests. It's Espresso. And I'm just so obsessed with the color. And it's so pretty. And I love how it's kind of sheer. So the more you put on, it's kind of like it gives you more of a Um, color and I feel like it's so nice because then some days if you're feeling like I want a full-on bold brown lip you can do that you don't always have to anyway next to my quote of the week which this week is always pray to have eyes that see the best in people a heart that forgives the worst a mind that forgets the bad and a soul that never loses faith in God I love that quote I sent into my best friend a few days ago because it's just so inspiring because one, we always want to see the best in people. Two, we will always want to forgive people. And I'm not talking about people who are just jerks. No, I'm talking about people who genuinely want your forgiveness and they want to change. They want to be best friends, people like that. And a mind that forgets the bad. So those people who want to be your friend and who want you to forgive them and they want to be a better person, they want you to forget what they've done in the past so they can be your best friends. They can be your friend. They can be the person that you need them to be in your life. And a soul that never loses faith in God. Most importantly, you never lose faith in God. So I love that quote so much. I just feel like it's so cute and it's just such a cute little quote to remember. My weekly recap this week is just what I've been up to. So I'm actually going on a trip soon. I didn't, I've done my packing in this past few days and I'm so excited because just traveling is so fun to me. I haven't done it in a while so I'm excited to go to the beach and I have been tr- just packing so many cute outfits and stay tuned on my YouTube channel because I'm vlogging the entire trip so you, you for sure can see like my whole trip. It's going to be so cute. I'm so excited to film the vlogs and everything so be sure to stay tuned on my YouTube channel which will be linked in the show notes. Also next, I seen I've seen everything from the Coachella um, first weekend, and uh, you guys, I'm telling you, I have never like it's not like it's not like really bad FOMO, but I have a little bit of FOMO, and I mean it's not like I could have gone to Coachella because I live on the East Coast, so I would have to like pay to go all the way to California and then also pay to somewhere to stay all of my outfits. It's a lot for someone who hasn't graduated high school yet, but. 
I will go to Coachella soon one day. And I just love the whole, like, vibe of this year. Like, literally, Olivia Rodrigo and No Doubt were performing together. I'm like, oh my gosh. They were just so iconic. And can we talk about the most gorgeous woman who was performing? Miss Lana Del Rey. Did you see how gorgeous her dress was? It was so pastel blue, glittery. And her makeup? <laughs> I saw this one picture of her smiling. I think it's um, at Miss Dior Bloom- Blooming Bouquet's sienna her um profile picture on pinterest but it is so gorgeous i'm telling you i am obsessed with that picture i'm obsessed with her whole outfit that honestly has to be my favorite look that she's done because it's just so cute and just the whole performance she did was just so cute it was so mysterious i just loved it she also brought up billy eilish which i'm not like a huge diehard billy eilish billy billy eilish fan oh my gosh but I don't mind Billie Eilish, and I would totally, like, um, go see her perform with Coachella. I mean, not with Coachella, with Lana Del Rey. I just can't talk today. But I, oh my gosh, and you guys, Taylor and Travis were there. Oh my gosh, that is so exciting. But anyway, so I was looking at pictures from that this week. I have sold out of all of my lip glosses this past week. I did a partnership collab with one of these really cool YouTubers and she did like a little discount code with her followers and stuff. And I sold out of all my lip glosses, which I'm just so grateful. I've been shipping out all my orders as fast as I can. So I've literally gotten an unreal amount of orders and I'm so grateful. So thank you so much if you ordered from me this past week or just ordered from me in general because I'm so grateful. Also, Taylor Swift's new album comes out. Oh my gosh. So as you're listening to this, the new album has already came out. But as I'm recording this, it hasn't come out yet. So I'm so excited to listen to it. The Torture Post Department. I am a big Swifty. I went to the Ares tour in April. So I'm just, well, no, I went in April 2023 when she came to Georgia. I love Taylor Swift. I'm a huge Swifty. I'm so excited for the new album. I saw like all the little Easter eggs. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to stop because I can't get too overly excited or too excited when it comes to Taylor Swift because I get a really bad adrenaline rush and I get super nauseous and it just ruins my whole day because I feel sick the whole day. So that's something that we're not trying to do today. (laughs) So next is my featured listener of the week. And for my featured listener, I already did most of my people who have been DMing me, so I'm just going to skip that for this week. And next week, if I have someone who DMs me or leaves a review over Apple Podcasts, then I'll feature you on next week's episode. My journal prompt of the week for this week it is: I want you to make sure that when you are going about your week, when you're going about your day, I want you to remember how different things make you feel. Because different things that make you feel a certain way, we, we tend to re- repress these emotions and you don't want to be throwing away your emotions just because you don't want to deal with them at that time you want to make sure you have something with you to help you get out these emotions whether that be a journal whether that be a friend you can talk to your voice memos app you want to make sure that you know how things make you feel and you can be able to be okay with how different things make you feel and like maybe i can't change it but i'm accepting that i feel this way about this certain decision or this certain thing going on in my life and I'm not repressing the emotion, I'm acknowledging it, and I know how it makes me feel, and I'm going to move on. So that's really important when it comes to that little journal prompt aspects. I really want you to try to do that. But let's get right into the actual episode about how to become and just like really embrace that Alexa Demi type of aesthetic because I'm so obsessed with that vibe right now, that mysterious Angelina Jolie, Lana Del Rey type of aesthetic. So let's get right into the episode. I'm so excited to be talking about Alexa Demi because she's literally so gorgeous, so stunning, and just so alluring because every time you see her, you're like, oh my god, Alexa Demi. Take a picture, screenshot this, screenshot this outfit. She's on an interview. Let me watch this interview right now, not later. I feel like a lot of the times, people like that, they're so private that anytime you see them, you always want to take a picture. You always want to remember. You want to go to it right now because they're so mysterious and they're not always there. You know how when someone is always there, you're kind of like, oh, if I don't have time to talk to them today, I know they'll be here tomorrow. But you don't know if Alexa Demi is going to be here tomorrow. So not like in that type of sense, like she's going to die tomorrow. No, no, no. But um, it's just in the illustration I'm giving. So you don't know she's going to be there tomorrow. So you're going to talk to her right now. I feel like that's what makes her so inspiring and so just like almost like you just want to know everything about her but you can't know everything about her it makes it so mysterious and it's such like a hot like it girl type of way so we're going to talk about all things alexa demi how she is just so private how she is just so it girl what makes her an it girl how to be more private how to be alexa demi in like you know your own way but i'm so excited to be talking about this topic because it's just so true i feel like a lot of times Every time I see her, I just, I'm just like, oh my gosh, Alexa Demi, yes, queen, like she is so pretty, and we're going to be talking about all things Alexa Demi, so let's get right into it. So, first of all, 
what makes Alexa Demi an it girl in the first place. So everyone knows who Alexa Demi is, obviously from Euphoria, the show on HBO Max, and her whole character is just so, it's, she's just so, I love myself, I don't let no one run over me, I do what I need for myself, I don't care what you think about me, I'm gonna wear what I want, that is just her vibe, her vibe is just like, I don't care about you, or how you view me, or what you think I am, all I care about is how I view myself, and I love that about her, she's just always so, like, knowing what she wants, she knows how she gonna get what she wants she knows who she wants to be friends with who she's not gonna be friends with she stands up for herself like she knows what she needs in this life and she knows what she needs to do to get that life that she wants and she is just so inspiring in a lot of ways I know her character is like a sad character and it's kind of like she is like the whole show was kind of just like a sad type of show which has like a negative feeling onto it but just her character in general is just so confident it girl her words are just so quotable I feel like a lot of times things just about that of her just makes her so cool you know like when you just see different things that she says they become quotes they become memes so easily because she is just so popular everyone loves maddie everyone loves that character because it's just so iconic and i feel like that's just really what makes her it girl some of the things that make her it girl specifically are her is her unique style so her fashion choices are always very very on trend but she makes them really cute in her own way like i feel like a lot of times when you see her outfits as uh, maddie or just as Alexa Demi herself they may be on trend but they're also Alexa Demi outfits you know this is something she would wear but it's also very much on trend I remember when we used to see her like um like last year or whenever that last season of Euphoria came out she had on like the leather outfits and stuff and it was just so cute because that was super trendy that time that was like everyone was wearing like leather pants leather shirt leather boots leather jacket just leather on top of leather and she did that but it was so Alexa Demi you know like she made it in her own way like the boots her hair like in a bob it was just so her you know it's so cute and it's just like you can tell she's always trying to be herself in a way and not trying to like be like one of the runway models or not trying to just like copy one of the outfits she sees on a tv show she's always just her own self and I love that about her her vintage looks that are just so 90s grunge I feel like she is the epitome of 90s grunge especially in this generation like she literally dresses it she is just literally her like the makeup she does not even just for the show but just as in herself like her makeup is always so grunge and just 90s type of vibes like her little beauty seekers which is so 90s aesthetic I just feel like she is always in that aesthetic and that's what makes her so unique because there isn't a lot of people who are this generation but they also really captivate that 90s aesthetic and do justice to it and not just like jack it up you know like when Kim Kardashian wore the Marilyn Monroe dress that was not it when Kim Kardashian wore that dress it was not cute it was not it something that like someone who actually wore an older dress but actually slayed it would be Anya Taylor-Joy with Audrey Hepburn's dress she gave justice to that dress literally that's what I'm talking about when you're going to recreate someone's dress you're gonna do an Anya Taylor-Joy and you're gonna kill it but Miss Kim Kardashian just no she did not do good with Marilyn Monroe's dress and I mean that's on her but that's besides the point but what I'm saying is that she always had those really cute 90s style outfits and she always rocks it like she's never trying to like be something different you know and her style is always just so individually her and then also she is so confident like I feel like her confidence is what makes her her she has so much confidence charisma her confidence is just so so captivating and it's just like whether she's on stage performing or like being just herself she's just like signing autographs in the street or whatever she's doing she is always getting attention and because she's so beautiful and like even if she wasn't as beautiful her confidence makes her that way so when you see her it's kind of just like oh my god Alexa Demi she is so gorgeous because she is because of the way she holds herself you know you never see her looking all trashy you never see her nasty you never see her nails outgrown you never see her like with crust all on her face she keeps herself together in order to state who she is you know people who are it girls they always have to have a basic level of keeping themselves up you know like we have an upkeeping uh, as it girls we have to be able to like make sure our nails look good at all times whether they're painted or not they're always filed and maybe even polished clear just to look really like put together and sophisticated and then also with makeup if you are makeup girly most girls wear makeup every single day but you don't have to if you don't want to i'm saying like a full face makeup you don't have to 
for me i usually just wear mascara lip gloss but if i really want to do something extra i'll do mascara lip gloss highlighter blush some eyebrow gel just like the basic things that just enhance my beauty that's something that i really love about lexa demi she always enhances her own beauty and not covers up her beauty she is always just like thinking like oh my gosh i love my eyes so let me just completely like vamp up my eyes like let me make them even more gorgeous than what they are i feel like that's her way of thinking and that's the way we should also think so that is what makes alexa demi an it girl so she is ultimate privacy like she is privacy to the max like people don't even people didn't even know her age until someone came out and said that they went to high school with her so they knew her age by that but a lot of times you don't know anything about her we don't know any like thing about her childhood we don't know where she lives we don't know what state she's in we don't even know if she lives in the united states so a lot of things are just so private about her and I feel like maintaining privacy, especially in the public eye or if you're just Pinterest famous, if you are just a normal person, you want to be private. You don't want everyone to know everything about you. So despite her rising to fame, she always maintained a sense of mystery and privacy and that just really adds to the whole femme fatale vibe she has going on. She's completely in her Angelina Jolie role here she's just so mysterious and i just love 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 how she's always so private and that's what keeps a lot of like things from going wrong for her you know like she is always making sure that she doesn't tell everyone everything because if she tells everyone everything then people won't be as interested in her because they already know everything about her if she keeps people on their toes and not knowing everything about her then people are going to want to come back for more and i feel like that's a big thing with her so here's some tips to navigate your just like little everyday life and just trying to preserve your privacy so number one selective social media presence so alexa demi she always just shares glimpses of her life on social media but she doesn't really post frequently like when she posts it's just like either like an ad or like she just posts something like every once in a while but every single time she posts it always has like a designated like thing to it. it's never just like what I'm eating today or like I'm bored this morning no she always has like an intention on what she's posting why she's posting it and it's never just like she's just posting all about her life you know like she is just always knows what to reveal how to reveal it and just everything about it so with this in your life consider trying to curate your own social media presence to only showcase and just show the only aspects of your life are comfortable with sharing with the public you don't have to be like an influencer you don't have to be like like a content creator and just post like everything on your story you don't have to post what you're listening to right now you don't have to post like anything really and i feel like a lot of people pressure people to post things like that because it's just like this generation this is what we do but you don't have to do that you can maintain that privacy and be like alexa demi and only post a certain things or just like post when you go to prom post like when you are like dressed up really good when your makeup looks really good you don't have to post all the time alexa demi only has like 22 posts on instagram and that is literally insane for someone who's a celebrity so you don't even have to post like that you know like if Alexa Demi can have 22 posts you can have 30 posts on your Instagram page next is to set boundaries she is so so big when it comes to this I feel like establishing clear boundaries with not just like the media and social media but like people around you in your life like your friends people just your acquaintances people you just know it's just so important because just like learning to protect your personal space is so important you know like you can't have people coming up all on you like asking you questions asking you questions that are out of their way asking you to do things that you don't want to do or you may not have time to do it you can do it later no we're not being selfish here but you can do it later but people are asking you things that are in out of your way you know like of course we take care of people of course we put others before ourselves but not in a way that it's just like we don't care about ourselves you know we love ourselves first and then we love other people as well so I feel like that's really important to remember to establish those boundaries set those boundaries learn to say no to invasive questions or like we will ask you for a picture if you're not comfortable with it say no you know it's not a big deal and I actually had to practice this this past weekend um I went to this religious event and one of these older sisters she was like can I please take a picture you look so cute and people always have to take pictures of me and my outfits and stuff and it's just like I understand because hey I look really cute and I'm a really pretty girl but the thing is I don't always want people to take pictures of me you you know like what are you gonna do with these pictures like okay what are you gonna do with them and I just don't like people taking pictures of me that's just like without asking you know I feel like that's kind of like personal and makes me a little bit uncomfortable so that's something that you should think about if someone asks to take pictures of you do you really want them to take the picture you can be okay saying no you know it's not a big deal and if people ask for like personal information people ask you personal questions where do you live um how old are you when were you born you don't have to answer that either literally alexa demi doesn't so you shouldn't have to either next is to keep your inner circle close so 
Alexa Demi, she does not have, like, in the public eye, she doesn't have, like, a whole, like, variety of friends and stuff. It seems like she has, like, a few good friends that really support her. So make sure you're surrounding yourself with trusted friends and family who respect your privacy, support you, and just love you. You know, your inner circle can provide a really good sense of security, protection, just grounding, going through, like, the different things you're going through. Just, like, people you can fall back on and lean on and they'll be there to help you and take care of you every step of the way you want to make sure you have a really good inner circle I always say it's better to have one or two really good friends than a hundred fake friends because even though you have those 100 fake friends secretly they hate you and they don't want to hang out with you so you need to make sure that you have at least two really good friends you can even be one if you can just have really like one really good friend that's how it is for me I have one best friend I have a few good friends but they're not my best friends you know like so right now my best friend Abby and she is like my best friend you know we've been best friends for like two years I've since I met her we've been we've been friends for two years the best friends are probably about almost coming up to a year because we talk we talk all the time we text all the time we hang out as much as we can we are just like the iconic duo best friends and a lot of people aren't happy with that you know a lot of people aren't going to be happy when you have best friends and somebody else may not you know so you have to be okay with other people not being okay with you you know you can't be trying to please everyone you have to just make sure you're pleasing yourself and who you care about at the end of the day so make sure to keep your inner circle close and people that you truly care about don't tell everything to people that you don't trust because then that that person can use that against you later on and that's not what you want you don't want people to use things against you because then at the end of the day they have this information and they could like potentially tell people things that you don't want them to know so make sure you're telling people things that are intentional and you don't want like to be spread out like the whole class to know make sure you're telling people things that you are okay with everyone to know you know not just like everyone feel like you need to talk talk to people who care about you talk to people who you know when not spill everything about you write in your journal talk to a therapist there's so many other routes you can go through than just telling all your business to some random person next is to focus on your craft so Ultimately, your talent, your dedication to what you do and what you are passionate about should speak louder than anything or any headline about you or than like anybody talking about you, you know, like stay focused on what you want to do, your own skills, pursuing your own passions, what you care about, pursue that and make sure that you are focused on that. You're not you're too busy to be worried about what other people are saying about you and what other people are saying about you is not your business you know like that's somebody else's conversation I don't care if you don't like me because that's like that's not my problem you know you shouldn't even have an opinion about me in that type of aspect because you're not even me you don't know me as much as other people know me and who are you to have a negative opinion about me so I feel like a lot of times we should be so focused on our own lives what we want to do who we care about what are our priorities so that we can't even focus on the negative things other people may be saying about us Next is channeling Alexa Demi's effortless, alluring type of vibe, aesthetic, charisma, her vibe. So, number one is to experiment with fashion. Her fashion is always so 90s, which is such an easy thing for me because I love 90s style and it's just like my thing. I have so many 90s style clothes, especially grunge. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm obsessed with that. If you know me, you know I love that. I'm a whole bunch of aesthetics glued together, but that is one of my favorites, so... With her type of aesthetic and style, she's always making sure that it reflects her personality. Her personality just seems so, she knows what she wants, like I said earlier. It just gives Angelina Jolie, it gives, she listens to Lana Del Rey. She is a strong woman, that's what she gives. So her personality and her clothing go hand in hand. So whatever your personality is, try to make sure your clothing matches that. If you are a really sweet girl, you like really love to just hang out with people, you are just like literally the Taylor Swift girly and I'm not talking like folklore Taylor Swift, I'm talking lover 1989 Taylor Swift girly, then you could dress pink Pilates princess, you could dress coquette, you can dress really like pinks and stuff, like just really soft type of styles, because that is what your personality would give off, so you can dress in that type of style. Let's take a water break, and let's chug some water, three, two, one. Okay, that was much needed, I was so thirsty, but that's what I was saying you can always do different styles one day you could be 90s grunge the next day you can be coquette the next day you could be pink pilates princess the next day you could be completely emo it does not even matter if people have an opinion about the way you dress then that's not your problem you know so 
dress how you want to and if you want to go through different aesthetics every single day then go through different aesthetics every single day that's what makes fashion so fun that's what makes style so fun to just go shopping and stuff because you can truly just dress how you want to and that's the freeing part of dressing up and just being who you are you can be whoever you want to at any given time day year decade whatever you want next is confidence when you see alexa demi she's never looking insecure she is never looking like she just had a meltdown no she's always confident because confidence is key to life so it's the ultimate accessory honestly so if you don't know how to be confident, I have a whole episode on it, but a few things you can do to be confident is to know who you are and what you stand for. Because if you know what you stand for, who you are, what is your identity, then when people ask you questions, when people question, that's my dog, I'm sorry, people question different things about you, they're not going to be like, well, why doesn't she know this about herself? Or why doesn't she like, you know, like know these different things? And I feel like it's a big deal when it comes to, um being Alexa Demi you know like her confidence is so her you you would know different things so if you don't know what you stand for then think about and write down my dogs are so loud think about and write down what you don't stand for and then you know what you don't stand for so now you know what you do stand for because it's the opposite of what you don't stand for so I feel like it's really important to know who you are what you believe in what you do what do you want to pursue just everything about you that's a great thing to know Make sure that you are speaking with conviction. When you talk to somebody, even if you don't know exactly what you're saying, even if you don't know everything what you're saying, if you have a really strong conversation, then you can pretty much know, like, what you're saying to people. And that sounds really confusing. I'm going to break it down. Okay, so I finally got my dogs to be quiet, thankfully. But what I was saying is that when you are talking to people, you want to make sure that you sound like you know what you're talking about. You don't want to keep saying, um, well, maybe, I think, no. You want to talk like you are an actual public speaker. You want to talk like you know exactly what you're talking about. Because if you start saying things like, um, I don't know, really, but then people are going to question, like, does she really know what she's talking about? And you don't want to be like that, you know? Like, you want to know what you're talking about, what you're saying, how you're saying it, what tone you're giving off. You want to try to be as great as communicating as you possibly can, and you can't be great at communicating without communicating to people to experiment and see what you are into and when you're talking to people. So try to give that a try, and that's really important, so try to do that. Next is to make sure that when you walk in every single room, my big thing, people always ask me, you have no idea how many questions they get about this, people literally always ask me, how do you have so much confidence and how does everyone pay attention to you when you walk into a room and it's actually easy this i'll give you an example of when i did this before like this happens to me all the time because when i walk in i know who i am i'm walking in people know me and i'll tell you exactly how to do this okay this is like the biggest secret to being me and just like (laughs) not being me but just being an it girl and people noticing you people talking to you so i'm gonna give you a few steps here So number one is you want to make sure that you know as many people as you possibly can. You don't have to be best friends with everyone. You don't have to even be friends with everyone. But if you're just acquaintances and you know people's names and you can say that you met them before, that is enough because then you have people to talk to at all times. You're not just depending on one person to be there, your best friend or just a few friends. You know everyone there. So you want to make sure every time you go somewhere, you know people there. And if you don't know people there and it's brand new, that gives you a brand new opportunity to make new friends, to meet new people, to see more like-minded individuals. So don't feel afraid if you don't know everybody there, but it's always great to do know everybody there. So this is how you do that. So when I walk into a room, I always wave. This is like how you do it. So walk, walk. And every, t- every single time I'm like, how do I walk into a room? I watch the Eras Tour movie, Taylor Swift on Disney+. Plus, and watch the way Taylor Swift walks during the Cruel Summer performance and or the style performance, it doesn't even matter. She has to walk on both. So watch how she walks. The model walk she does, do that walk. But don't do it as hard because you're not going on a tour right now. But make sure you give off a model walk effect. If you don't want to watch like that little two-minute clip of Aerosmith movie because you're lazy, then try to like just copy a model that you see and you like their walk. Or just walk with confidence because that is how you do it. So I make sure I walk like that. So you're just like walking in your model walk, model walk, smile, wave, model walk. I always keep that in mind. I tell my friends that this is how you do it. So your model walk, model walk, smile, wave, model walk. You can even adjust it if you're able to talk to people while you're walking, if it's not too much to do. So you can do model walk, model walk, smile, wave, how are you, model walk. So let's go to the first one. When you're walking into a room, you want to be like, model walk, model walk. 
you're smiling at people, like a big grin, you're happy to be there, you're showing people that you are welcoming, you're outgoing, you you have a really magnetic personality. That is what a smile, a genuine smile and wave looks like in a model walk. It's giving that you know who you are, giving that you know who you are, you know how, like, how do I even describe this? You know how great you are. So, when you walk in, model walk, model walk. First of all, the model walk makes you look extra pretty. Smile. You're smiling at people. You're showing that you want to be here. You're waving at people. So, you're showing that you want to meet these people. You want to meet new people. You're excited to be here. You're smiling again. Wave, model walk. For the second one, model walk, model walk, smile, wave, how are you? So, if you're talking to someone, you're like, hey, how are you? I'm Vivian. Obviously, you say your own name. I'm Vivian. How are you? Oh my gosh, thank you so much for asking. Today, I am doing, I'm doing great. How are you? Like, you're just having a normal conversation, you know? Model walk, model walk, smile, wave, how are you? Model walk. It's super easy. It's super fun, actually, because it's like a little song. So, I love to do that. So, that is a great thing to do when you walk into a room. That's why I get so many people to talk to me because I look super confident. Because I am confident in myself and I love who I am. I'll give you an example of how this happens. So I went to a house party before, which is pretty surprising because I kind of hate parties. Um, and I'm not trying to sound like a pick me, but I just don't like parties sometimes because I just, I don't know, I'd rather be at home watching the Ares Tour movie, painting my nails, eating some sort of chocolate. I'll take a shower, I'll read, record a podcast episode, maybe text my friends, maybe I'll go to my friend's pool, maybe I'll go to Chick-fil-A, go shopping, do my makeup. I don't know. Anything but that. <laughs> so i be on Pinterest, obviously. But so I don't usually go to house parties or parties in general that I get invited to because I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like I always have better things to do unless like there's people there that I want to see so bad. Like if my best friend is there, then I'm like, I'm definitely going to go because I definitely want to go spend time with my best friend. But if it's just like people that I don't really care for, people that I don't really want to be there, I'm not going to go. Unless my mom is like, come on, let's go. Then I'll obviously go. (laughs) But so there was this one house party I went to and everyone just walked in and they just opened up the door and walk in but see that's not how you do it that is not how you do it I'm gonna tell you how you do it okay so when you walk into a house party you walk into a party in general people are obviously in there they're all standing there if you just walk in without uh, doing what I'm about to tell you to do you just walk in take your shoes off keep your shoes on I don't care what you do you're just like hey guys people not everyone's gonna look at you but I'm gonna tell you what to do to get the most attention possible and not in like a spoiled brat type of way no I'm saying in a way excuse me that people are going to know that you're there people are everyone's going to know that you're there people are going to be like oh hey I saw you come in that's what I'm talking about and my mom actually taught me this I'm so glad she taught me she told me to go to this party because she was like no this is what we're going to do instead then people know we're here so what she did literally so many people came in front of us and just opened the door went inside what we did, even though someone had opened the door and went inside right in front of us, we closed the door. We rang the doorbell. Wait for somebody to open the door. And then we walk in. You see how different that is? The person who opens the door knows that we're there. And everyone's looking at the door like, who rang the doorbell? Who is that? Like, who is it? You know, everyone wants to know. So when you walk in, you have that model walk, model walk, smile, wave, how are you, model walk. Everyone is like, oh my gosh, they're confident. Oh my gosh, they rang the doorbell. Oh my gosh, they're here. You know, people are going to be more uh, like magnetic towards you because of who you are and they see that you're different than other people. So that is a little piece of advice that you should always keep with you because it works for me. It'll work for anyone. Next is to make sure to stay true to yourself. Don't be afraid to just be yourself. Like I said, um, like you want to make sure that you aren't trying to be someone else because then it's just a waste of who you are because you're just being another person. So that's like me saying I don't want to live my life anymore as me I'm gonna live like Taylor Swift for the rest of my life there's no reason of doing that because there's already Taylor Swift and that would make no sense you know like so just be yourself be who you are and it's what makes you unforgettable people can never forget you I'm so deep to people like people always be like you're so deep you're so interesting just because I like things that aren't shallow, you know? Like, so I, people, people are always like, I love rom-coms, which I have no problem with. I don't love them, but I like them. I'll watch it. But my favorites are thrillers movies. I love thriller movies. Scary movies are my favorite. Any movie that makes me jump, love that. So 
a lot of people are always like, wow, you're deep. And I'm like, I love poetry. I love dark poetry. I love Sylvia Path. That sounds very red flag, but no, it's not red flag. I love Emily Dickinson. I love Virginia Woolf. I love classic literature, Lana Del Rey, uh, Taylor Swift. I love different things like that. You know, I'm such like, I'm like a little iced coffee girl. I love makeup. I love Sephora. I love shopping. I love perfume. I love taking pictures. I love being the own photographer and filmmaker of my own life. I love to just direct my own life, make a movie out of my own life. People are like, oh my God, she is crazy. And I'm like, no, my, no, I'm just deep. I, I'm not shallow. I have interests. I have hobbies and that's who I am next is to cultivate a sense of mystery so leave a little bit of you to people's imagination don't tell them everything and a psychology trick that I have for you is when you're telling people about you make sure that you're not telling them literally every single detail if they ask you I don't know if they ask you something they don't tell them everything about you because then and say you have nothing to talk about when you come back. If you tell them your whole life story from beginning to end in 10 minutes, then when you come back, what are you going to talk about? They're not going to give you their life story because why would you do that in the first place? So make sure that you are leaving that sense of mystery and allure by just like not telling everyone everything about you. So I hope you love this episode. I hope it could give you like a really good little sense of let me be mysterious. Let me be Miss Alexa Demi. I hope you could take my little model walk, model walk, smile, wave, how are you, model walk. Or if you already know to say how are you, model walk, model walk, smile, wave, model walk. I hope you could use that. I hope it could teach you something and just give you that little sense of confidence and just boost that you may need in your week. I love you so much and I'll see you next week. Bye besties.